वेलकम टू टुडेज एडिशन ऑफ अमेरिकन विजन आम हरपी सिंह तूर मेरे वालों आप सबू प्यार भरी सत श्रीकाल नमस्कार आदाब एंड शलोम या वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक द लेटैसट डिवेलपमेंट्स जो कुछ भी वाशिंगटन डी सी अजक चल रहा है आई वॉज एक्सपैक्टिंग ए गैसट डे बट सम हाउ बिकॉज ऑफ सर्टन रीजनस दैट गैसट कुड नॉट मेक इट मे बी नैक्सट फ्राइडे ही विल बी हेयर and you will be able to hear him what he has to say but uh, things happen and uh, life has to move on and life goes on sab to pehla jehdi cheez there is something you know i was um, um looking at all this inquiry the muller report and then after that uh, bell bars uh, actions of doing or not doing anything or uh, playing as a you know defense attorney for the uh, the president instead of being the chief of justice department and then all of a sudden um, you have all this plethora of statements coming out from all these previous people who were one way or the other they were involved with justice department or they were heads of justice department directly questioning William Barr on what he said or he did but there is another thing which i want to say and i'm going to you know uh, talk this this particular section jehdi main hun gal karna laga main punjabi ch is karke kehn laga ha kyunki sade community de vich vi ek aas vele jehdi hai na ek kasham kasham kash je chal rahi hai ya kafi chir ton um aur oh kasham kash hai jehdi us nu ਕਿਹੜੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਲੈ ਜਾਣਾ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਲੈ ਜਾਣਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਉਸ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਨਾ ਇੱਕ ਰੋਲ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਉਹ ਬਣੀ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਬਣਦੇ ਆ ਲੀਡਰ ਇੱਕ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਥੋਪੇ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਦੋਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਫਰਕ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਪਰ ਇੱਕ ਚੀਜ਼ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਦੋਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹ ਐਡਮਿਟ ਉਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਪਰ ਕੋਈ ਐਥੀਕਲ ਵੈਲਿਊਜ਼ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਆ ਕੋਈ ਬੰਦੇ ਦੇ ਸਿਧਾਂਤ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਹਿ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਔਰ ਉਹ ਸਿਧਾਂਤ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸਿਧਾਂਤਾਂ ਦੇ ਬੇਸ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਬੰਦਾ ਜਜਮੈਂਟ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਆ ਭਈ ਇੰਸਟੀਚਿਊਸ਼ਨਸ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਉਹ ਰਹਿਣੇ ਆ ਸਮੇਂ ਨੇ ਤੁਰੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਡਿਪੈਂਡ ਇਹ ਕਰਨਾ ਆ ਭਈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇੰਸਟੀਚਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਐਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਬਣੇ ਹੋਆਂ ਜਾਂ ਬਣਨੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਇੰਸਟੀਚਿਊਸ਼ਨਸ ਨੂੰ ਨਗ ਅਗਲੀ ਜਨਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿਦਾਂ ਤਿਆਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਔਰ ਉਸ ਇੰਸਟੀਚਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟਿੰਗ ਜਨਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਉਸ ਇੰਸਟੀਚਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਉਠਾਉਂਦੇ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਦੋਸ ਆਰ ਦਾ ਐਥੀਕਲ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਇੰਡੀਵਿਜੂਅਲ ਬੰਦੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਦੋਸ ਆਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਚ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਐਟ ਮੀ ਵੈਨ ਆਈ ਸੇ ਐਥੀਕਲ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਵਿਲ ਟਾਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਟ ਬੰਦੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਔਰ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਇਟਸ ਏ ਵੈਰੀ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਇਸ ਦੌਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਚੋਂ ਨਿਕਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਸਾਡੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਇਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਥਰੂ ਦਾ ਸੇਮ ਥਿੰਗ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਕਲੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾਂ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਆ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਕਲੀ ਸਿਰਫ ਆਪਣੀ ਗੱਦੀ ਬਚਾਉਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਜਾਂ ਪੋਲਿਟੀਕਲੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਸੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਮੋਰੇ ਸੁਣ ਰਹੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਕੁਝ ਇੱਕ ਬੰਦਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੈਪੈਸਿਟੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਐਨਾਲਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਤੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕ੍ਰਿਟੀਕਲੀ ਦੇਖਣ ਦੀ ਤੇ ਸੋਚਣ ਦੀ ਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਥੋੜਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਉਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਐਬਜ਼ੋਰਬ ਕਰਨੇ ਨੂੰ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਦਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਇੰਟੈਲੈਕਚੁਅਲ ਲੈਵਲ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਦਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਸੁਭਾਅ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੈਲਿਊ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਜਾਂ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਹਿ ਲਈਏ ਭਈ ਸਾਡਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਜ਼ਮੀਰ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸਾਡੀ
ਆਪਣੇ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨਾ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਦੀ ਇੱਕ ਵਰਡਸ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਟੂ ਪੁੱਟ ਦ ਫੀਟ ਟੂ ਦ ਫਾਇਰ ਕਿ ਕੁਝ ਇੱਕ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਫਿਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਆਗੂ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲੀਡਰ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਪੁੱਟ ਦੇ ਫੀਟ ਟੂ ਦ ਫਾਇਰ ਟੂ ਟੈਸਟ ਦਮ ਔਰ ਉਹ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਸੋ ਉਸ ਲੜੀ ਨੂੰ ਜੋੜਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਆਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਮੂਵ ਇਨਟੂ ਦੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਜਰਮਨ ਹੀਅਰ ਹੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਬੀਨ ਹੀਅਰ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਆਲਸੋ ਕਪਲ ਆਫ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਬੋਰਨ ਹੀਅਰ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਵੈਨ ਰਿਚਰਡ ਨਿਕਸਨ ਰਿਜ਼ਾਈਨਡ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਟਾਕ ਸਮ ਕੰਪੈਰੀਜ਼ਨਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਬਟ ਹਿਸਟੋਰੀਕਲੀ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਪਨਡ ਐਟ ਦੈਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਨਾਟ ਹੀਅਰ whatever i know i read about it but he was here he lived through it so for me it's very important to understand some of the aspects and i'm pretty sure you also want to understand all these aspects about it so let me first introduce you, charlie zelton oh, charlie you? thanks for coming in my pleasure okay so you heard here. me yep so okay so yeah. let's talk about uh, some similarities between when Nixon won his second election it was a landslide victory right 49 states but within 2 years he ended up resigning right right yep okay so do you see anything happening like that with trump i see the potential of that happening although with trump <coughs> i don't think he has the honor The, well, whatever, he doesn't what, have any honor as far as that right, is concerned. But, yeah. so, but so I don't know if he'll actually resign. Mm-hmm. And then it, if the House impeaches Trump and then there's a trial <clears throat> in the Senate, I don't know if he'll get convicted because I don't think enough Republicans would support that. Hold to, on. Yeah. Would the Republican under Mitch McConnell even start the trial? I don't think they have a choice. I'm not sure about that. I'm not an attorney. I don't think constitutionally they have a choice about starting the trial. They may be compelled by the constitution to, to have the trial. The trial. That doesn't that, mean that they'll convict him. It's really interesting because I do not want to take a break at that time once we start discussing that. Mm-hmm. So let's take a break right okay. now. I know we have really short time today, but let's take a break after that break we will talk about it. Okay. Welcome back to American Vision and uh, we are going to start where we just took the break. All right, Charlie, let's uh, move now. Now the question is, okay, this is, the, this is really something, you know, which, uh, yeah, that's Democrats took the House, mm-hmm. okay, and Nancy Pelosi is playing exactly the way she needs to play right now. I agree. Okay. and there are other people who are trying to make some noises about it but uh, you know she knows what she is doing mhm okay on republican side who control the senate they have 53 mhm out of 53 right now there is i don't see any single one who is ready to move but interestingly intelligence committee called in junior trump mm-hmm. junior right and everybody in republican is up in arms mm-hmm. why why <clears throat> uh because they're trying to make it go away they're trying to make the whole issue of the trump and the trump campaign their complicity with with the russians and and who, there might be other foreign interests that were implica- that were involved with creating uh in trying to influence the election of 2016 so that they can position trump to get into office So if they were to not if they were to admit that the, all those things were going on then that would require a lot of self reflection on their part and they would have to examine who they are and I don't think they're capable or want to do that so I don't think so the, because the, the, Mitch McConnell Mitch McConnell there is a reason for that okay Mitch McConnell he blocked the Supreme Court nomination for more than 10 months mm mm-hmm. mhm okay and then he appointed two supreme court justices mm-hmm. immediately one mm-hmm. after another mm-hmm. okay and then he has the you know guts to go into kentucky and say that see i did not let 
Obama to appoint a chief justice, you should be voting for me. Mm -hmm. Right. And by saying the case closed on the Senate floor this week, he tried to, you know, just brush off everything under the carpet. Mm -hmm. Let me just go back for a minute. I mean, the reason I'm asking you this because you were here when the things happened with Nixon, and you do remember that. So I do. that's why I'm trying and, to... And, and, <clears throat> and just to set the stage for a minute, in reflection to what you're saying, I was alive and paying attention when the whole process was going on from the Watergate break-in to the point that Nixon resigned. Right at the same time, because of the demolishing of the image of the Republican Party, and the Democratic Party's image had been demolished in 68 because of the whole upheaval and how people were reacting to how the Chicago the, Convention. And the but that was just a reflection. I mean, the whole everything was being torn apart socially. The Chicago Convention of Democrats that took place in 72, 68. Well, 72 the, was another convention. I think that was in Los Angeles. Where, where was that where? It, the Chicago Convention was the convention where the riot the riots, police, yes, the, the riots, riots took yes, place, right? Right. Okay. Yes. And that was 68, right? But, but okay. there was more things. <clears throat> I mean, that was, you know, that year Martin Luther King got assassinated. Then Bobby Kennedy got assassinated. You know, Nick Johnson determined. And then also, what isn't popularly known, but is true, Nixon and the Nixon campaign influenced the negotiations with Vietnam for a peace settlement. President Johnson wanted to have a peace settlement before the election. Nixon interfered with that. He had a person, I forgot her name, who was a Republican known as she was a Vietnamese person, and they just delayed the peace talks. Just well, like what's going on now that's, that's like, with, with the Russians. It, I know. It, that's, that's like, I will tell you something. You know, and, I know. And John, President Johnson called the Republicans on the carpet and said, this is treason. But he was afraid to pronounce, to make it public at the time because he was afraid of tearing apart the, more, tearing apart the fabric of the country even more than it was at that time. And it was pretty... You know, a lot of people were really scared at that time because there was so much upheaval in 1968. You know, uh, there, is, there is another uh, thing which uh, just came to my mind was that Jimmy Carter actually was able to negotiate the release of the hostages with Iran while he was still the president, but the Iranians will not release no, them. No, they till released it until the day after the he... The day after. And what Reagan hasn't took. been proven, but what is suspected is that Reagan and his team were involved with that. Well, That's two times, and then you have now the third time the Republicans have tried have won the presidency because of foreign interference, and nobody calls them out on that. You know, it's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a, see, uh, yeah, the, the overall, the overall, when you, we look at, you know, there are some institutions in this country, you know, I mean, you got to admire that those are great institutions, great universities, uh, great institutions like, you know, Center for Foreign Relations, CFR, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, uh, then these institutions, you know, who think about the, you know, the Middle East and how the things will move and down the road and, you know, uh, yeah, they may make some errors in the calculations, but at the same time, the politics is politics between Dem Democrats and Republicans. Well, what was, you know, when Mitch McConnell goes on the floor and says that Obama did not take the, may, uh, take the steps to stop the Russians, it was Mitch McConnell who refused to do it. And nobody's talking about it. Well, here's the thing. You know, all the things that we've been talking about, and the reason I brought up 1974 and the, and the resignation and what happened in 68 is right at the same time as the diminishment of the Republican brand was happening then because of, the, um, uh, because of Nixon's behavior. And at the same time, there were other forces going on that were saying, listen, 
we need to tear down the democratic structures that were democratic party structures like social security the great society all these things and they need to do it by way of you know and they also were attacking the universities that a, a person named Lewis Powell same be, thing is happening now well it's all part of the plan Lewis Powell who became a supreme court justice that Nixon appointed had a had a uh, released, wrote a memo to the Chamber of Commerce. And it's called, anybody can look it up, it's called the Lewis Memo, the Lewis Powell Memo, the Powell Memo. Okay, Lewis Powell. And there you can read, it's a blueprint for exactly how the Republican Party has been operating, which is influence the media, influence the education, and influence the judicial system. And that's exactly the same blueprint that they've been following for the last 45 years. And this, you know, if you look at it as a, con a continuum of time, when you were talking about what Mitch McConnell is doing, that's the fulfillment of the same plan to take over the judiciary. Because that's all they're doing. That's all they're doing in the Senate. Yeah, is because, trying to take because, over the judiciary. Yeah, because they have, they have been appointing the judges who are extremists in their views, and they are in their 30s, early to mid-30s, and they are going to be the judges for the rest of now, their here, life. Now, here's, the, here's what also happened. <clears throat> As a result of that memo, the Cato Institute, the Heritage Foundation, um, uh, what other, a number of other conservative those, those think conservative tanks, think tanks uh, were, start, were funded then. And then they also started putting pressure on the media to say, you're being biased. And so now what you have is an over you've you've had over yeah. the last forty you years. Know, we, it's we, an overcompensation. We we don't have that much time okay. left, and uh, today is not enough time to right. Uh, we but, uh, but need to see, continue. But okay, it's this uh, this it is fits a, into a continuum. I know uh, this is a far fetched <laughs> question, which I'm going to throw now. Okay, is it possible that Trump is a Russian spy? I don't know about a spy. Is it maybe a, probably a dupe? I think that it all senses around his money. When, when, when I say spy means that they literally propped him up, they have been propping him up to bring up, and one day, if and when he becomes the president, he will be, you know, they will tell him or instruct him to dismantle every he, institution. He's, yeah, he's like the Manchurian candidate without being, you know, but for the Russian part and then without the brainwashing. And it all, no, with, well, we, we always know with Trump, it all, it's always about money. Well, so who we, knows we, where his we, deal? We have to go. We are running out of time right now. And, uh, you know, it is really interesting discussion. We are going to do it again because this uh, 20 minutes is not enough. But it's a very interesting discussion and we will do sometime later on. And please stay tuned. And you can always call 718-786-5222. Give your opinion or email me and uh, I will be more than happy. Till next time, good night and good luck.